By now, you've all noticed that the stores and stuff are starting to get really full. Actually, they're cram full, right? I mean, this is inside information on the supply chain crisis because this is all smoke and mirrors, folks, and this is what is taking place. I'm going to start off talking about T-Mobile. T-Mobile has had its issues getting certain types of phones and those type of things in. Now, they have been getting a lot more in lately. Now, as you all do know, I am a delivery driver. I deliver to a lot of different stores. Now, so as far as T-Mobile, they've been getting all their accessories and stuff in. They just haven't been getting phones in. Now, lately, they've been getting pounded with boxes and boxes of phones. And I know because I bring them to them. And they're getting stocked up now. Now, what is taking place is they're getting all the stuff that they should have had like three months ago that's been back ordered and they're getting these phones they're throwing them out there on sale and stuff because a lot of these phone companies are all you know they're going to be having all their new phones come out real soon you know they usually try coming out in the late fall around christmas and these phones were supposed to be out for last year and they're getting them in now now, yes, people are buying them because they haven't been able to get phones because they just don't have them. Now, Cricket Mobile, that's a whole different other story. What's taken on with Cricket Mobile is um, they just haven't been getting nothing. Uh, they get a few accessories here or there and enough to keep uh, some things on the shelves and they're not getting phones. Uh, on Friday, I took in a huge shipment of phones finally to the store and they were like so happy. Uh, but they have such a long line of customers that are waiting for certain types of phones that more than likely all those phones will be gone in no time. And what is taking place with a few other different retailers? My dollar store and my Dollar Tree and my family dollar store, they have been overwhelmed with the product that is coming in. You see, a lot of these stores, they just get shipped whatever comes on the trucks. Now, there for a while, they were running a little ragged because they weren't getting eaten a lot of goods because we all know for a fact that probably 99.9% .9 of their stuff all comes from overseas. Let's just face it, it's called a dollar store for a reason. Right? Your Dollar Tree and Family Dollar are owned by the same company. Your dollar store is, you know, a different entity. But as far as the other two stores, you know, they have their own trucks and stuff to come. One is Family Dollar. The other one is, you know, Dollar Tree. What's taking place with them is, you know, their trucks come about twice a week. And whether they have room or not, they have to take it. So you may go into the stores. It's like when I walk into my store, if you look down the aisles, there's actually boxes that are just stacked because they have no place to put it. The back rooms are crammed full. And everything else and the manager from the Dollar Tree that I've known the longest um, he was telling me that what is taking place is is they're getting all the products and stuff in finally that has been on back order for months and months and months and they're also getting pre shipment for towards the holidays so you're gonna you may start to see some of the holiday stuff coming out relatively soon because they got a whole ton of it because there's not going to be much coming behind this because of the backlogs over in China. Because that's where a lot of their goods come from. Now, with Walmart, it's the same type of situation. They have trucks that are setting out in the yard. They're backed up to each other, end to end, so nobody can get in them. All right? And at my particular Walmart, they have four setting out in the yard and that are backed up end to end and it's full of all types of goods now i'm not sure exactly what it is now i was told by the shipping and receiving manager that food products are backed on first they take priority because they can't be in those hot trucks anything cold comes on a refrigerated unit which means it has a refrigerated system built into the front of it that keeps the inside controlled at a certain temperature so they can just it it'll keep the product now if it does have one of those if it sets out in the yard it doesn't matter because those things will kick on as long as it doesn't run out of diesel fuel 
and those things will kick on and this way here all the food and products inside there will not go bad so that is just part of you know that whole process now uh sam's they're still they're they're just backed up just like i said in my video last week uh the stuff is stacked to the ceiling and they have trailers setting everywhere now what's on all these i have no idea because you know I, they don't even know they open up the doors and what's in there they have to unload and it's just it's one big mess target on the other hand target is um this particular target they not only do they receive but they also ship out so if you go online and you order something from target.com they actually pack up things from there they have this huge back room and they pack it up and then at night time uh we go back and we load it all on our trucks and it all goes out uh like during christmas time they drop a 45 foot trailer in there and it's loaded every day so what they're running into is they're running out of room to do the other end of the work you know they got to unload at night they have them come in and they unload all the trailers they have to unload them all and they have to put it somewhere and then during the day they package up everything and have it taken out by us see where i'm going with this so it's like a nightmare in the back room there GameStop, on the other hand, you know, I mean, poor GameStop, I, I give them another year and I think they will be a total just online store. Um, they have tons and tons of accessories. Uh, they are starting to get some video games and stuff in. Uh, but some of the consoles like your, your PS5s and uh, Nintendos and all that kind of stuff, Xboxes and all that, they, they're just they're scarce. They get them in and they go right out the door. As soon as somebody knows that they have them in, uh, they actually do have a list going so when they do get in it was first come first serve on the list and they call up the customer and say if you're still interested i have it do you want it or not if they say yes they'll come down and buy it if they say no they go to the next customer and that's just the way everything is working now what's going to happen is is towards the end of this year we're going to run back in the same boat where there's not going to be a lot of stuff in the stores as far as any type of goods and all this kind of stuff we're going to have different types of issues that we're going to have to deal with because over in china there's what 340 50 boats that are setting out there you know that are waiting to be offloaded and reloaded to come back to america they're having all the problems moving the goods and stuff to the ports because of the COVID lockdowns that they've been under over there and some of the areas still are uh, people don't want to take a chance of getting stuck somewhere and you know I mean it's just a, it's a snowball effect folks so you watch out for some good deals coming out uh, they have announced that you know there's going to be some good deals and you also want to make sure that you are paying attention and you are doing whatever you can to be prepped and ready because this is going to be one heck of a year and uh, we're going to go more in depth on that on another video that'll be coming up later on this week and i hope that everybody will stay prepped stay ready and make sure that you and your family can survive so this has been inside information the supply chain chaos and the crisis that is taking place across this country and i'm bringing it to you because I see it on a daily basis, whether some of you really believe that or not, but it is what it is. Um, I have no reason to sit here and lie to you. I tell you what I see because it's better to hear it from somebody that sees it firsthand than it is from some fake news agency out there that don't know what they're talking about. So until next time, folks. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. <music>